Kibi Dango is overpowered. Because if she gave the Kibi Dango to Goku, then guess what? Goku is under her control. Kibi Dango, bitch. You two anime family was good with it, everybody. It's your boy Lelouch V Breen. I'm back with another video. As y'all can see, I'm looking like a celebrity because from now on, I'm finna act like all of my videos is gonna get a million views, which is what I should have been doing, but that's what I'm about to be doing now. I'm finna be like, oh, fuck it, I got a million subscribers already. Let's just do videos how I do videos if I had a million subscribers. Let me be myself. Let me be confident. But yeah, so today, what I'm about to be doing is I'm going to look at CBR's top 10 double fruits. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because later on, Smooth and Kim are going to come through. They go pull up. And I'm going to be giving them a challenge. A chance to win some money. Any, any ability, any superpower they can name that doesn't have a devil fruit, I'm going to get them $10. So say they name some some laser laser eye laser mean superpower, right? I'm gonna try to find a devil fruit that has that, that's capable of doing that, that's capable of letting somebody do that. And if I can't find a devil fruit that allows someone to use lasers, laser beams out of their eyes, then I'm gonna get them ten dollars. But there are so many devil fruits. There are so many abilities. They literally have a devil fruit from somebody picking boogers out their nose, flicking them, and they turning into bombs. Like, they literally have devil fruits for everything. So, this is going to be pretty interesting. So, stay tuned for that video. It's going to be coming later. But today, for right now, let's look at CBR's top 10 devil fruits in the name of all devil fruits. Let's get straight into this video, baby. Hey. Yeah. So coming in at number 10 is the Yuki Yuki Nomi, the ice devil fruit. Now I remember this devil fruit. I thought it was like snow because that's really what she used it for when they was up on um, Punk Hazard. I think Zoro was the one. Yeah, Zoro was the one who defeated her. Uh, Monette had it. I don't think this deserves to be on the list. Like it is a low gear type and all low gear types are powerful because you have to have hockey to defeat them. That's a minimum. So they whoop ass if they not in the uh, grand line or whatever. They whoop ass, like nobody could fuck with them. But let's read what they have to say. The Yuki Yuki Nomi is typically overlooked Logia de type devil fruit. The fruit itself failed to leave a strong impression in its user Monet, who also happened to leave a fickle impression. Though it was a Logia, the Yuki Yuki Nomi chose the worst time to debut. And that's true, that's true. It was a good devil fruit, but at the same time, it, it, it's not that hard, you know? Like devil fruits could be good, but depending on our user, we know that because we know who had the, the Thunder Devil Fruit. Like, come on now. True to his low gear status, the Devil Fruit allowed Monet to conjure, manipulate, and transform into snow at will. Yeah, that's it. She got folded. She shouldn't be on this list. Let's go next to the Suna Suna Nomi, the Earth Sand Devil Fruit. This... If we talked about before it's time, this was before it's time. They should have waited to show this devil fruit because this shit is OP as fuck. He could literally touch someone. If he touches someone, he could drain all the moisture from their body. He could turn you into an old, skinny, feeble, flimsy ass person. He could turn you into a stick figure by absorbing all of the blood, the, the moisture, the sweat, the tears, everything out of your body. And now you just a motherfucking dust bunny. This was before his time, because we even though Luffy beat him, we still see him later on in the war arc fighting people like Mihawk, who's who can be argued to be stronger than Shanks because he put up on Shanks and he pressed Shanks shit like, bro, I'm not finna fuck with no has been. He said that and all in Shanks' face, and Shanks didn't say nothing about it. So Mihawk may be stronger than Shanks, right? This dude pulled up on Mihawk and was like, nigga, I'll whoop your ass. And he didn't get hurt by Mihawk. So we know that he he's stronger than Luffy. Let's say that. He's stronger than all the straw hats. So let's say that. So, so next, we got the Ishi Ishi Nomi. This is at number eight. Now, Pika, the man that told me like this, that big ass dude. I don't know if he should be on this list. Like his devil fruit go crazy, but there's so many devil fruits that's better than this. This devil fruit basically allows him to manipulate stone. Let me see what they have to say, though. By the time the Dress Rosa art, Devil Fruit lost their initial rare status and became overly abundant. 
Now, that's true because in the beginning of One Piece, before they got, I mean, but it's understandable because they in the Grand Line they over there, they crossed that line. So, of course, there's going to be multiple Devil Fruit users. But before that, we didn't see Devil Fruit users as much as we did now. Now, everybody got a Devil Fruit. Any and everybody. But yeah, the Ishi Ishi no Me is on such a grand scale, a Devil Fruit so power, so overpowered, it can overshadow a handful of Logia. It granted Pika, one of the Don Quixote family's top officers, the ability to manipulate stone. Zoro cut that shit, boy. Zoro cut that shit like it was nothing. But he hard, though. Like, I don't think it deserves to be on this list, but it is a cool devil fruit. Number seven, the real ice devil fruit. The he he know me. Iced. Niggas be like, oh. Ayo, Kiji doesn't use ice. Yes, the fuck he do. That's all we see. Y'all said he used temperature, but if he was using temperature, then he should be able to make high temperatures and make heat and shit like that. But he can't because he uses ice. But this devil fruit is so overpowered. He like one of the only devil fruit users who ain't got to worry shit about water. Like he ain't, you know how devil fruit users can't swim? He ain't got to worry about that. Because say he falling into the ocean, freeze the whole shit. This man is so OP. He's not scared of water. This man rides, a, he don't take a ship. He rides a bike across the ocean. Imagine he just slip, right? Any other Devil Fruit user be done for it. But him, freeze the sea and we live. And we seen him, it's also a Logia type because we seen Whitebeard try to stop him straight through him. So we seen Luffy kicking shit at them straight through him. So he's also a Logia type. Yeah, it says most over, the most overpowered of Logia, the he he know me deserves more than a mention. It's devil fruit premised on ice. Its user Kizan might as well be considered the ice king of One Piece. Oh God, can't nobody beat that man. All right, right under him is another Navy Admiral, Mabu Mabu no me, the magma devil fruit. We seen what it's capable of. It hurt Whitebeard, it killed Ace. We seen what it could do. That devil fruit go crazy. But it ain't much to say. It ain't much else to say about it. Like he could drop meteorites, I think. Nah, that that wasn't a meteor. I ain't know. I wouldn't have put it on my list. See, this is an instance where it's the user who just utilizes it at a high, at an overpowered rate. Like this, this man is cool. He cold with his devil fruit. I mean, he hot, but he cold with his devil fruit. Like he go crazy with it. But I don't think this devil fruit deserves to be on the list. The meta meta know me. The fire devil fruit. This devil fruit go crazy, of course, because it's fire. It allows him to fly and shit like that. It's a low gear type. But all low gear types are overpowered. All low gear types go crazy. But it's just regular fire, though, at the same time. But in the right hands, it could be overpowered. Imagine if they could make fire so cold that it's like the Amateras. If they could do that, then yeah, it deserves to be on this list, but... I don't know, man. The meta meta know me. The Goro, Goro know me. The lightning devil fruit. I was just telling y'all about this. It depends on the user who has it. Because imagine if somebody like Whitebeard had this devil fruit. Imagine if somebody like Zoro, Sanji, even Usopp had this devil fruit. Uh, imagine if Nami, Big Mom... Anybody else had this devil fruit, they go fucking crazy because this man literally didn't train and he was ruling the whole fucking sky pier. He could hear somebody whisper, that nigga God a bitch. That nigga go come like this and fire you the bitch. That nigga God tripping. Why he got to do that? What nigga? Psst. And then he ain't even got to do that. He ain't even got to leave where he at. This nigga could drop a big ass, I'm talking big humongous ass thunderbolt on you. Fucking destroying all mountains and shit. This nigga, man, this nigga is so overpowered. He didn't even have to train. The only reason he lost is was because Luffy was rubber and, and lightning has no effect on rubber. This was another devil fruit that was way beyond his time. Like, you, come on, bro. Y'all put this too early. I know Oda was like, damn, why did I use that ability for such a weak character? I hope, I really do hope that Inaru comes back. Gotta know. I hope he comes back later on in the show. Because we know people come back in uh, One Piece all the time. But last we seen this dude, he was trying to go to the moon or something. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but yeah. Right under that is the Pika Pika Nomi. The light, light devil fruit. 
so overpowered, I ain't even got to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Because guess what? This allows him to move at the speed of light. This allows him to move through objects. He's a low gear user. And he can shoot fucking laser beams everywhere. We was just talking about laser beams in the beginning of this. He can shoot laser beams out of his eye. He could do it all. This man is so overpowered. He told Akano, let me go to Wano. Guess who's on Wano? Like four of the four or five of the supernovas. They got black, I mean, they got Kaido and they got Big Mom and they got both of their crews. This man, like, let me go handle that. Like, damn, my boy, you that confident, you that strong that you would go fight Big Mom and Kaido and Luffy and Law and Kid, all of them? This man is a monster. His devil fruit, he won't get hurt. That's why he's so careless. Like, there's nothing you could do to this man. He's light. Even if even if you have even if you have hockey, you have to be as fast as him to hurt him. He go crazy, man. He overpowered Kizu, the best admiral. Next number two is a Yami Yami Nomi, the darkness devil fruit. Now, if you got the darkness devil fruit, you could counter the light devil fruit. But the only thing is, if you got the light devil fruit, you way faster than the nigga with the dark devil fruit. So even if the, even though this could counter his light devil fruit, he's still so fast. Blackbeard wouldn't be able to do shit against him. But on the other hand, Kizadu won't be be able to do shit against Blackbeard. So let's go to the next one. But well, I'm trying to move too fast. Let's talk about the fact that he could create black holes. Let's talk about the fact that the planetary devastation is a black hole that's just rising. So pretty much, I I believe that Blackbeard could do some shit like that. Once he master his devil fruit, once he awakened his devil fruit, because we seen like it seemed like the only person who really awakened his devil fruit was uh, what's that nigga name? Don Quixote, uh, Dolph Flamingo, Dolph Flamingo awakened his devil fruit, and we seen how cold he got. I don't know if other people have done it yet, but if he haven't, and if he does, then shit. Plus he got Whitebeard's devil fruit, who should be number one. I'm pretty sure. Let's see what's number. Kaido's devil fruit. Okay, that should be on the list, but I don't know if it should be number one. Well, yeah, Kaido, I'll take Kaido Devil Fruit over Whitebeard. But yeah, his is his own type. He turns into a dragon. This nigga blowing up mountains casually as he drunk. This nigga falling on the town, destroying it because he's drunk. We see him one shot the main character. Now, that don't happen often. He, get your ass up out of here. So we know, that, and that wasn't even his Devil Fruit, but... We know that Kaido's Devil Fruit go crazy, so it deserves to be on the list, but I don't know about being one. I take the light Devil Fruit over the Kaido's Devil Fruit. But overall, this list has some good Devil Fruits. I would replace like four of them. Like, first of all, Monet, she doesn't deserve to be on this list. I'll take the Fire Devil Fruit out. I'll take, what's his name? Pika. I'll take his Devil Fruit out. Um, I'll take the Magma Devil Fruit out, and I'll leave everything else. Let me know in the comment section down below what's y'all top 10. And please mention Kibi Dango because guess what? Kibi Dango is overpowered because if she gave the Kibi Dango to Goku, then guess what? Goku is under her control. Kibi Dango, bitch. Kibi Dango, little ass girl. Here, Goku, try this. It's very, very delicious. Goku, go, boy, I am hungry. Take it, eat it. There it is because Goku is a big ass monkey. But that's it for this video, y'all. Like I said, let me know in the comment section down below what's y'all favorite favorite devil fruits. What's y'all which devil fruit do y'all think is the best? And remember that you have the ability to make me famous. You have the power to put some <coughs> bread in my hands, and all you gotta do is give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But peace.